Uh oh. Buddy? You okay? You in there? We're gonna shoot that video for uh, Guitar World. I need to go outside. I need. I gotta go outside. Let me just film this stuff. I'm not gonna put this in the video, right? Let's do it! Let's get a guitar! Where's the guitar? <laughs> so, what do we have? We're done? <clears throat> okay, hello to you. Everyone watching, you will remember me from the last time that it was me and I was on the internet that you are on now. Last of the times I made a video for world famous popular song Stand Amid the Roar, and this time I will hope to increase popularity of a different song by teaching it its guitar parts to you. Simple enough. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good intro. What do we think about that? I'm feeling better. A little bit better. Except I got all this stuff under my nails. So that's actually a good segue. And this bit that I'm gonna teach you is a tapping riff. So cleaning under your fingernails is really like the only thing you're gonna wanna use a pick for. Okay, lesson one. I think the first thing that you need to think about when you're tapping is don't be an idiot. Don't use your index finger. That's just, that's amateur hour. You need to hold your pick still, right? Use your index finger for that, your thumb as well, probably. And so then you should be tapping with your middle finger. Now, you can hear me, but you can't see me. Oh, you can see me. Hello. <laughs> Back down, I'll just speak. You can, okay. Hi. You can hear me but not see where my head is. This is a one time through of the part, just so you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the tapping bit at the beginning of the song. It goes like this. <laughs> That's just one go through, and it does that uh, lots of times. So now we're gonna break it down, and you'll see that it's really quite simple. Uh, okay, so the part is uh, comprised of three, I guess, phrases you'd want to call them, and they follow the same sort of rhythm each time. Just the notes change. The first phrase we're gonna want to work with. You're gonna tap the 16th fret on your D string. I should actually level with you, I, I didn't use a tuner on this guitar, so I have no idea what tuning I'm playing it in for real. But anyway, we actually play it in, you know, half step down drop, so it's, you know, C sharp and so on. Sixteenth, you're gonna tap that, tap it with your index, or middle finger, never your index, forget I said that. So from 9 to 11 is their, your hammer on, so tap, pull off, hammer there. Now, your left hand's gonna be barring two strings because you're gonna need your ninth fret on your G string as well to pull off that note which is 13th fret on your G string so the first phrase looks or section of the phrase looks like so you're tapping pulling tapping sliding my hands so you can maybe see it better. It's like that, but faster. Uh, the next bit, if we could just get the to come back, yeah. Um, same, same rhythm, except now you've moved a couple strings up and you're gonna start on the 14th fret rather than the 16th. Still anchoring your left hand in the same position but moved uh, to the two strings higher. You're playing 14 rather than now this is yeah, which makes you know a nice little jump and uh, you're still barring those two as I said you should before and you're gonna tap 14 and slide it to 15 so it looks like you see and then similarly you only have to move your right hand for this bit just like so so that's 14 to 15 and then 15 to 17. So all together, slowly, it looks like. Ta-da, that's 
slow version of it. So tell me you don't know it now. <laughs> now no two riffs. Uh, and so you're welcome. If you didn't think that that was a, a good, uh, satisfactory lesson, then f*** off. Also, I teach guitar lessons on tour <laughs> if you want to have some of those. <laughs> hey, you're watching This Is How The Wind Riffs with me, Paul Mark Russo. Am I looking into the camera? Do you want me to do? Wait a minute. Is that fine? Tell me it's fine. Let's make a movie. Are we done now?